Hey guys, welcome to Scorpio reading. As usual, this is for any combination of Scorpio or not in your chart. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, ascendant, north or south nodes, cusps, cross watchers, Venus, Mercury, I don't even care. You're all welcome. Love you all. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. There's something you're going to get out of this regardless of, like I said, what sign you are. So just keep an open mind and listen to what speaks to you. Take what, take what resonates and ditch what doesn't. Okay? So, I'm really excited you're here. I'm excited about Scorpio season. I know you are too. <laughs> you're like, all right, come on, Libra. Let's go. <laughs> let's get back to some water. Ooh. Let's get back to some water. Have we been doing too much healing? Or is there too much of a need for healing? No, we've been working on it. I can tell. You've been working on that balance. You've been working on that mind, body, actions. Mind, body, spirit. Mind, body, emotional. It all adds up. It all adds up. This is a balance. Okay? Before I go any further here... I'm going to take some overlying energy cards. Whoops. We did have one flip over already on us. And I am going to go and grab it. Ready to go. Okay. And of course, we get the Hierophant. <laughs> no joke. But I love these cards because they are a little bit different. They give you a little bit different perspective on things. It's a lot about growth. Two more of these. So for our overlying energy, what? You are kidding me. This is amazeballs, you guys. This is so auspicious. I just can't even. I just can't even. Yeah. Okay. They always get turned around. So yeah, definitely getting rid of some ego here, going within, submitting to the divine, the true divine and not our little half-baked ideas and uh, ideas that people, other people or other entities are putting in our mind that are not true high ideals. See, High, the truth and the high ideals and the spiritual side comes to us in different ways, namely through ourselves. If it doesn't resonate with you on the instinctual level, then ditch it because everything else can be like people think books, oh, scripture, spirit, you know, like is in a book. No, man made that book. The spirit did not make that book. The spirit made you, <laughs> okay? That's the difference. The book, I'm not saying the books can't teach us. All of the ancient books, there's not just one or two or five books. There's many, many books, and there's many books that the powers that be, both back then and in the present day and age, are wanting to suppress. So I highly recommend ancient scriptures. Yes, keep an open mind, read them all. This is what the Essenes did, who were actually people that were around Jesus when he lived. I'm not farting, I swear. It's my ball. <laughs> so anyway, we got the Hierophant and then we get the Magician. And I know we do have some Capricorn. I've been getting a lot of Earth energy lately. And I just deal with a lot of Earth energy anyways. But I think it might be coming through from this Capricorn. Something's in Capricorn right now. I need to look it up. I'm just, I'm not lazy. I'm busy. Single moms, you don't, you don't get to say you're lazy. You're just busy. You're too busy. Okay? But you're taken care of. You are learning so much, coming into your own power. It's almost like you're the underdog, not paying attention to me. But here I am blossoming and everybody thinks I'm a fuck up. Not really fully, but you know what I mean? Like, that's the energy that I'm getting from this card. Okay? 
It's about who are you? Who, 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 who? Are you having fun in life? Are you going anywhere? What are you doing? Yes, you are. We know you are because you're here. You're, you know, and you are doing a lot more than you even know, which is cool, which is so cool. This is really great for, I'm going to start doing the underlying uh, energies with these little cards. I think it's so cool. I'm digging it. Let me know if you guys are. So Knight of Pentacles is our third. So this would be more into the future. You know, our first underlying energy card is more how we are. I mean, it's all to take into consideration. But we're definitely going somewhere. We're following we're following the steps that it takes to be a good manifester. We're following our mind. We're letting our mind build, create, believe, turn into emotions, transmute, you know, the mere, the mere thought into an actual feeling that you're proud of, that you want to nurture, that you want to feel more of. Excitement, enthusiasm. These are the things that the universe loves. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. It is a very vibrant energy. It's a let's go conquer the world. Let's go see. Let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go learn stuff. Okay, we gotta go do. We gotta go do stuff. We gotta go. We gotta really get our habits right, though. We gotta make it all come together as a wheel. Okay, this is the original coins, the wheel. You know what I mean? Being able to turn, <laughs> turn tricks. Not really turn tricks, but you got to make things happen. You know what I mean? And that's what, that's what this is. And that's why we're celebrating or will be soon. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I love this actually. Okay. I'm not going to take this. It's too many. Too many. Slow it down for me now. Okay. Actually, we're still going to take some underlines. I was, I was unsure. I'm just kind of, kind of stay open. I usually do the, do the the oracle cards no matter what and unless i feel otherwise and now i'm just gonna not do them unless i feel drawn to them okay just to let you guys know what's going on with me Ooh, ah, just got chills like up the spine like a shiver up the spine in a good way a fiery climax approaches yeah <laughs> that sounds like fun going on there's nothing you can do to stop the goodness of your life. There's nothing you can do. And we're taking an animal card as well. Okay. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, we got the Feo, the Hawaiian owl. I love this. I just watched Aloha the other day again. Your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Always be on the lookout for all sorts of signs, always. Especially from yourself, because your shadow is what's gonna give you the most guidance out of anything. Because again, you were really the starting point for any energy. You know, you, is it, it encompasses that, I and I and I and I. You know what I mean? Pay close attention to what bubbles up under you. The fiery climax, this is like, okay, so this could be good or bad. Fiery climaxes can be, you know, climax of a movie is explosions. You know, death. Somebody's gonna die. It's gotta be the person with the bad karma. I can tell you that. <laughs> it's movies, right? Just like real life. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking my sweet time getting these cards out, taking the meandering road, having a good time. Okay, all little things, okay, as lessons, as it comes out, as the energy is showing us. Ooh, love it. We've been getting some major hooks. It's major hook energy lately. It's like, oh, yeah, you're doing fine, you're fine, you're fine. And then be careful about a uh, full moon. This is what this is saying, okay? You're on your path. You're doing healing. You're actually going places. You've been going places. You're on the upward trajectory. It's like you really have a strong idea of what you're doing, you know, right now, what you're doing in life. Um, you're balancing some things out. Yeah, you know, and, and it might start bubbling up and then don't let it get out of hand. And I'm going to help you guys out with this, okay? 
Again, we start out high over here too. Deeper and higher, deeper and higher, doing the work. You're going within. You're actually making things happen. You are actually making change. Don't, don't let anything I say discourage you from that. But then you go back to a knight of pentacles. You know what I mean? It's like a little bit of... Uh, so just don't worry about that. It doesn't mean anything really bad. It's just a forecast of the future energies that are coming for everyone. Just being tailor-made for you right now. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just stay close to your, like, just stay close to your guides right now. Stay open. And by open, again, I mean go within. And you are really going to do some shadow work here, hopefully, and get really far within. You know, not just, oh, I'm a spiritual person, you know, da 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 da, da. No, you're actually actively doing work to not only help yourself, but help the earth. I mean, it's one thing to say you're interested in spiritual things, but to actively do work every day that's going to help the universe. This is what meditation is. This is what all of this stuff is. Anytime you're on a positive wavelength, you're actually helping the universe. Don't you forget it. You're very important. You're very, very, very necessary. That's why you're alive and breathing right now. Do you know how many beings want to be on this planet right now? You're one of the lucky ones. You're here. Don't fucking waste it. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, yeah. There's a lot of, like, upward. There's a lot of change. Honestly. It's coming in quick. It's like, get ready for it. This healing is not like, oh, we're just going to do it because it's like, we have so much time to do healing. No. Get the fuck ready. Okay? Get the fuck ready. Again, because these energies are sh are shifting in the near future. Right now, we may be like, oh, okay. You know. I'm sorry, my camera gets confused sometimes, guys, okay? Yep, you're coming into your own. You are. You're coming into your own. You're learning how this whole thing is coming together. You're learning how it's working, and you're taking it to the next level. You're cutting away things that you don't need. You're voluntarily moving forward for a better life, maybe towards Directions you know, you don't know. Maybe you don't even know where you're going. Maybe it's towards directions that you didn't expect with somebody, you know, that you didn't expect. Maybe you guys made it. Maybe you guys are like turning corners and hitting milestones and you're together. Like I'm really getting this victory here. This victory is really popping out here. Okay. We did it. We fucking did it, bitches. All right. Babe and Taylor, control of herself, by the way, bitches. Yeah. You've had to cross, cover some ground. You've had to cross some bridges, you know. You've had to really focus on yourself. You've had to work on your inner and your outer health. To make it this far, like seriously, pat yourself on the back. Have a fucking celebration in a good way. So many cards out over here. <laughs> Why are all these cards out over here? So funny. Just throw cards everywhere. Yeah, but it's all about definitely going within bringing, is bringing you to the next step. You're recognizing your effect on the world. You're really getting the fact that you are divine. I'm really feeling that you are. I can just tell. And you know you're starting something new. There's a little bit of delay in the action. There's a little bit of, oh, well, uh, you know, I got to focus on this and that. I got to focus on myself. I got to focus on the relationship. What do I focus on? I got to focus on the money. What do I focus on? Like, you mean well, but it's kind of a balanced thing, which we've been trying to achieve, you know, this whole time. It's like, in the beginning, it's more of a, like, you have to do this. And now we're kind of more settling into it. But that just means that... You're coming to the next level. You know, you really are leveling up here. Okay? So, any relationship that is going to bring you true happiness is going to be something deeper and higher. And it, it doesn't have to always seem like that. You know, you can just have fun. You can just be goofy. You can just do things that you did when you were a kid. Whatever. You know? It's overall. It's overall energy. What are you bringing to the table? What are you, are you treating them the way you actually want to be treated? What you do in your everyday life affects the world. 
how you treat your twin flame, how you treat yourself, really puts a vibration out into the world that is going to help it or hurt it. You're going to, you affect the energies, the butterfly effect. You really do. Okay. We need to really stop being, oh, so negative, positive label. I always do the quotations, you know, when I'm talking about negative and positive, because it's all our perception. Everything works itself out. I was getting the tarot card, or excuse me, I was getting the tower cards earlier, and it was on this, the uh, Crystal Visions deck that I use in the car usually. And it's like the freaking explosions or whatever are in the fi the fireworks, you know, the lightning on that card is so beautiful. It's like so worth it. You know, like what would life be without a great story, without a climax? Every great story needs a fucking climax. So you take the good, you take the bad, you take it all in stride because you know, it's all part of life and you know, it's just a cycle. You know, it's going to go up and down again. So people are scared of the cycles of life and they're like, let's medicate ourselves so we don't go high and low and high and low. And yeah, okay, some people have issues. Some people need it, but the vast majority of the people that are being diagnosed are not. They get a little trigger happy, let's just put it that way. Watch out for that. It's all a balance, okay? We've got to balance out the mind and the emotions. We've got to balance out all of our physical stuff. We've got to do it on a daily basis. It's no small feat to be alive and lasting here on planet Earth. I will tell you that much right there, okay? So, yeah, there's definitely going to be coming up. There's going to be a change in the energy. It's like, I don't want to be like, oh, things are going to get deep and dark. But, yeah, right now it's a little bit of, like, just airy, like, this absence of stuff. You know what I mean? And Scorpio, this is a Scorpio breeding. We're coming into Scorpio um, Sun. We're going into actually Pisces Moon here tomorrow on Wednesday. And then by the weekend, it's going to be Aries Moon. Okay. And then by, well, you still got another week or so after that. You got a full moon and everything to deal with. And then we get to go to Scorpio season. But I, do, I have heard Scorpio season is going to be intense but probably awesome for you and you know 2019 has been interesting so again it might be kind of this stay on your guard you know energy okay watch you have to go within or uh all of these cycles these kind of toxic cycles that you've had this worry this projection this result or you know this this a lot of thoughts, you know, a lot of just thoughts that are going to lead you down the wrong road because thoughts lead to emotions, which lead to beliefs and expectations, which lead to actions, which leads to habits, which leads to results and karma. Okay, so it's very important <laughs> that all started with thoughts. This is the law of attraction. Your thoughts have to be correct. Your thoughts are what's causing your problems. In order to fix the thoughts, you need to go within. The reason why you're having this heartache is because you're not going within. You're looking, you're shining the light over here, not inside to your heart. You're looking away, you're turning away. But it's also changing. I can see it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. And it's gonna take you far. It's gonna take you real fucking far. It's gonna take you from a place where, you know, you might have not even might have lost a lot of, I feel like maybe there's a lot of, you know, just low feelings about yourself, feeling lost, but then you're going to be like, yes, I'm home, I know, I get it, like I'm back to who I was, like I come, like I come back home to my own self, you know what I mean? And then it's just going to grow, you're just going to grow from there and just keep, get like so much stronger, you're just going to like leaps and bounds. It's going to be like that situation where Okay, this is your spirit. It's like that kid that like you just saw like last year and then he goes through puberty and he's like six inches or like two feet tall or something. You know what I mean? You're like, holy shit, you're a totally different person. That's the energy of the change that you're going through right now. It's going to be fast. You're going to cover a lot. Again, this climax has to do with our inner work and everything. So our inner work and doing the shadow work is really leading to us coming into... A 
better understanding of the law of attraction. It's all connected. This is what it is. It is what it is. But that's exactly what it is. But then don't forget that when you get to the next level, you still have to start over again. <laughs> Say la vie, baby. Okay. So take care of your health. Spoil the hell out of yourself in a good way. Treats don't have to be unhealthy. Okay. Treats can be just enjoying the bounty of the richness of the garden of the gods. Okay. Don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to follow your passion. It is what is leading you the way is your passion. What you really want out of life, your dreams, your daydreams. Pay attention to that shit. That shit is the shit that is real. You know, that's where you're going. If you could do one thing today, if you could take today off and do one fucking thing, what would you do? There you go. That's what you need to do with the rest of your life. Congratulations. You've got it all figured out. But how do you do that? It sounds so simple. No, I'm not trying to exaggerate. Gosh, why would I do that? <laughs> it all starts with going within. And then again, doing the whole program. Maybe I should turn the program around, do the shadow work first, and then the law of attraction, because that seems to be the way I talk about it is always shadow work first. But I don't know. I'll think about it. Let me know what you think. Just keep on, you know, following, like I said, your passion, your dreams, whatever you would want to do right now, you know, follow your bliss. What you have is very much inside of you. It's very much inside of you. Don't go see, don't go searching for the answers outside yourself right now, for sure. That's not where it's at. Just be that whole pure spiritual expression. Allow yourself time by yourself allow yourself time to grow time to express yourself allow yourself freedom to express yourself don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks okay let me know what you guys think i love you i will talk to you very soon check me out all over social media facebook instagram twitter twitter pictures and the most current prices on any of my products available whether it's coaching lifetime coaching um, at a very, very low price right now, whether it's my program, wait, that's free right here on YouTube right now, um, private readings, all of that stuff. Go to clearberry.com for always up-to-date pricing. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.